Hey everybody, how are you doing today? Uh, for those of you who are new here, welcome. My name is Nikki. Um, for those of you who are returning, welcome back. As always, I am so glad that you came back. Uh, so as promised, um, today you are here to check out my new houseplant tour. Um, I have definitely made a lot of changes since you last saw everything. Um, there's some really cool new plants that I'm really excited to show you. Uh, a lot of them you've seen before if you've watched any of my unboxings or haul videos. Um, but here you kind of get to see them in their natural environment or setting. Okay, not in their... Like in my... You know what I mean. Okay. Anyway. So, also I did want to mention, I know that... <clears throat> pardon me while I choke. <coughs> okay. So I know that we were supposed to actually do the uh, challenge video this weekend. Unfortunately, Jordan's working nights, we didn't have the time between when he woke up from sleeping and from when he left, or between the time that he woke up from sleeping and the time that he had to leave for work to be able to shoot that. So unfortunately, we're probably gonna have to do that later on this week, but it will be very soon, I promise. Um, so for those of you who aren't aware, we were challenged by Rachel and Casey from Heart Shape Leaves uh, to complete a water, sorry, a moisture meter challenge. So Casey has been giving Rachel a hard time because he seems to think that you don't need a moisture meter in order to check if your plants need water or not. Now, unless you've been like hardcore studying your plant I mean, even like I've had plants for a really long time and sometimes they get me, you know what I mean? You'll lift a plant, you're like, oh my gosh, that's super light, it needs water. You stick your finger down in, you're like, oh my gosh, it's dry, it needs water. You stick that moisture meter on there and it's like, I'm good. So no, I don't, I don't trust it. Or maybe I just don't trust myself. I know there's a lot of people who can and oh my goodness, more power to you. Wah, but I, I can't. So anyways. Here, this is where I ramble because it's what I do, as you know. Um, so they had a challenge where Rachel gave Casey a bunch of different plants and he got to like pick them up and stick his finger in to guess and see if it needed water. Well, I'm not going to, you know, be the one for spoiler alerts, but go watch the video. Um, and at the end of that video, they challenge us um, because they know that Jordan... Uh, is always up for a good challenge and then he likes to talk a bit of smack so um, I will link their video down below because it's definitely something you need to check out and then go ahead and subscribe if you're not already and turn your notify bell um, or your notify turn your notifications on so that when we do post that video you do get notified because that is going to be definitely interesting um, okay so I'm about to start the plant tour I'm not actually going to put all the names on the bottom of the screen this time. Um, if you really did like that from my last plant tour, let me know and I will go ahead and do that for the next one. I will be saying all of the, um, the plant names or if you missed one, by all means, just go ahead and send me a message down in the comments and I am more than glad to let you know what that plant was. Um, Make sure that you stay until the end because I am actually going to save all of the really cool stuff for the end because they're all kind of in one area. Um, so without further ado, let's go check it out. Okay, we are going to start in my kitchen. I'm not going to bother showing you my bedroom and bathroom because honestly, nothing has changed in there. Um, yeah, I've kind of started to refocus my energy, kind of downsize my plants a little bit, try to a little, little bit more to refocus on some more rare varieties and the stuff that I just really like. Um, it's a work in progress. Okay. So we'll start here with my peace Lily who just doesn't want to stop blooming, which is totally okay with me. He is looking stunning. This is kind of my get better soon corner. 
Um, so I have some CB Blue cuttings in here that I am just kind of trying to give extra light and attention to. Um, this, um, oh my goodness, Pilea Glauca, I believe it's called, or Baby's Tears, is like my nemesis. I don't know why this plant hates me. I see other people's and they look gorgeous. And then mine, I literally, I look at this plant and leaves fall off. Like I'm, I'm trying really hard. <laughs> Anywho, um, so yeah, I'm not gonna go through all of my succulents. Um, I am going to be doing a video on those shortly. I'm going to be getting rid of a lot of them. Um, I will be keeping a select few, but there's that. Okay, so over here, here is uh, some that I am trying to these are a lot of the ones that I'm going to keep. I won't name all of them because um, we just be here for too long. But here are my succulents. I am going to try to be as steady as I possibly can with this. I need one of those gimbal things that make it so, you know, your camera looks steady. Uh, so there are some of the succulents that I will probably be keeping. Uh, if we look up here... There is my, there we go, uh, there is my kangaroo pot fern. I did repot that. Um, we did do a video on it and I just wasn't really happy with how it turned out. So you didn't get to see that. But here it is in its pot, nice and red that matches all of the other red in my kitchen because I kind of like that look. So yes, kangaroo pot fern moving around the room here's my uh my fake plant or as kaylee ellen likes to refer to it, the ficus plastica ficus plastica i think she calls it which like the first time i heard that made me like literally die laughing it was so funny um up here is my wandering jew or my trans triscandia i can never say it right so unfortunately um, here is the jade that was actually in one of, um, the girls that I work with. It was on her desk and we had all had one, one died, then the next one died. And Catherine's was the only one that was still alive. When I say alive, I mean, it was on the brink. <clears throat> so I brought it home and nursed it back to health and it is doing so much better. Um, like literally the stock was squishy. And as you can see now, or maybe not, it is not squishy anymore. It's not focusing very well, is it? Okay, moving down here is my lipstick plant. It was flowering, and of course, now that I go to do the video, it is not, because that's just how things seem to roll around here. Okay, let's shift around here. This is my Lemon Lime Dracaena. little golden pothos on its beautiful little Amazon macrame hanger. We'll go, there's not too much in the kitchen right now. I have the, the used spider plants and some golden pothos cuttings. My crazy magnetic fridge. Um, so this is where I have, so I have two plants in pots. So my neon pothos, and this is the purple wandering Jew with the really cool leaves. If you can see that, like how cool is that? Gorgeous. Okay. Uh, these are my two little butterflies that my best friend got me for my birthday. They were supposed to go in the garden, but they just kind of hung out in here instead. <laughs> Uh, that is a um, variegated peperomia, obtusifolia, uh, sorry. And then I have my little bulbs here, and I've got some different cuttings. So I have a neon pothos, I have a golden pothos, and I have a mandula pothos in there. Oh, and a little begonia. And then over here, I've got, um, let me get out of the way, uh, I have... Marble Queen Pothos and my 
um, sort my brain's falling out, my Hoya Compacta, and it's actually, oh, you can't really see it from here. Oh, maybe you can. Let's zoom in right there. Look at that. It's actually got a root. I'm not sure if you can see that or not, but like I noticed that yesterday and I lost my mind because <laughs> they are so difficult to root. Okay, so up here we just have my one of my strings of pearls. It's actually not doing super great. It's got this like one little, I don't know, ball hanging down there. And then, uh, oh, here is, <laughs> I'll show you this. So right here, let me see if I can get my finger in there. Right here, this is me when I was a baby. This is me in grade 12. Over here is Jada when she was a baby. And this is Jada in grade nine, I believe. Twinning. <laughs> okay. Anyway, back to the plants. Here is one of my strings of bananas and some more cuttings, etc. Okay. We are going to swing around the corner here. Here is my corn plant. This guy, I'm still struggling a little bit with his leaves turning brown on the tip, so I have had to cut them back, but it does get hit by the dog a lot, so I think it's just, um, you know, when something, like it's, it's more damaged than anything, because I've been making sure to water it and all the, you know, normal care stuff there. Um, okay, this is kind of a hodgepodge of stuff and I'm actually going to be this is the second project that I'm going to be working on is kind of revamping this area so I'll give you a try to back up here without tripping so this is kind of what that area looks like right now it is uh, what we refer to as my green wall um, when you come up my stairs this is the first thing you see um, I really liked it at first but now the plants are really not kind of where I want them but it is what it is. So let's check them out. <clears throat> so down here I have a little Kalanchoe. Focus. There we go. I have my little butt rocks or my lithops that haven't died yet. So that's good, but they're not doing anything. They need really high light and they don't, I mean, they get a little bit here, but not crazy, crazy. No, probably not what they require to actually like bloom or anything. Uh, here is my pink moon aglionemia, aglionema, Chinese evergreen. <laughs> um, here I just have a couple succulents. Down here, this guy is like, I don't, I can't, I don't know. I, he hasn't died. I can't make him happy. So this is a, oh no, white star calathea. Oh man, I'll throw that one down at the bottom because I'm having a blonde moment. I don't recall what that one is. Um, I think it's a white star. <clears throat> so here I have a little CB blue that has rooted and as you can see is growing a new little leaf. Like how cute is that? Er my gird. Here is a couple more little butt rocks, lithops. My um, philodendron micans, which is finally starting to grow. Another succulent. Um, this, uh, okay. Paula, Paula's going to freak out when she sees this. I, okay. As you can see, can you see the, it is 80% humidity right in this corner, which is why I have it here. It does require, oh, this is, sorry. This is a Calathea zebrina. Um, it does require a lot of humidity, which I'm giving it. I'm giving it filtered water. It's got like, it doesn't have too much light. It's got just enough. Light. I don't know. I don't know. I have no idea what I'm doing with this plant, but whatever it is, it doesn't like it. So if you guys have one of these and you've had this problem, it is one of the only plants that I cannot seem to make happy. Um, with the exception of that one. <laughs> so it's kind of driving me nuts. Um, and it's been a challenge. We'll say that. So here is my Calathea Mac. Oh, here we go. Mac. Mac. We're going to call it Calathea Mac because I cannot remember. Um, the common name for this one is the uh, peacock plant. It is absolutely stunning. 
look at the undersides of these leaves like yes please gorgeous okay um if we look down here we have my little anthurium you guys saw me haul that one um here is my let me turn this guy around actually i've tried to turn him around so he gets sun on all sides but this is my um i think they're a burgundy ripple peperomia and he's doing awesome super great down here we have my uh, agave americana and if you can see right here he's got a little rhizome shot out and he's got a new baby growing in there so exciting okay back up here we'll just start down here so you guys may recognize these these are the burgundy ficus elastic elastica that Jordan and I repotted in the repotting challenge video. If you haven't seen that, check it out. It's freaking hilarious. Um, up here, we have a green Maranta. Um, this guy struggled with mealybugs and I think I have finally nailed them. He's got two new leaves coming out and I couldn't be happier. Um, that was a battle. Here we have my little pink Fetonia, who is looking lovely. Such a drama llama, but gorgeous. We have my Calathea medallion, who is doing quite well. Back here we have my green Maranta, who is rather underwhelming at the particular moment in time. Moving up. We have my string of nickels, which is finally growing, and that's very exciting. We have my variegated string of hearts. This guy you may recognize. <laughs> Look at this. So this is the sad begonia from the Etsy unboxing video di I did. Um, if you haven't seen that, by all means, go check it out. But when I opened this poor guy, it literally had a leaf maybe two <laughs> it was really bad but i have been lovingly and patiently caring for him and he is getting so much better yay uh, this is another begonia that i have been nursing back to health i bought it for a couple dollars at like i don't remember like home depot or something like that and uh it was a little sad when i started but it is getting better. Thank you, Rachel. He's starting to grow some new leaves. <laughs> um, so back here, sorry, I'm trying not to hit this lamp, guys. Um, this is my um, Calathea lancefolia or rattlesnake Calathea doing fantastically. And this guy is great. Love him. Uh, around here is my Calathea rosy. That one on the top there is, a, oh, sorry, not that one. This one is a brand new leaf. And there is another one growing out the back there. Oh, you can't see it. Maybe you can. He's in there. Okay. So that is that. Now moving up here, we just have a couple more succulents. <laughs> I have a trio star my variegated Maranta who is amazing great grower that plant is like if you're gonna get a variegated plant and you want to start out with an easy one get this guy like, unbelievable and here are a couple caladiums um, I think they're starting to die back to go into dormancy for the winter they're just looking a little more sad than usual <laughs> Okay, coming down here, this is a whole crap ton of string of bananas cuttings. Uh, you'll see when I get around the room here that um, the giant string of bananas that I had in my front window, um, I actually did uh, cut down a little bit, so they are a lot shorter. Yeah, I found it was blocking a lot, <laughs> so we just took care of that the other day, and now I've got all these cuttings that are propagating. 
a little succulent there. Here is my Brazil uh, sorry, <laughs> Brazil philodendron. And it is loving this pole and he's getting nice and tall. Looking awesome. Yeah. And my aloe that I probably am not going to leave here. He's used to being in my front window, getting a lot of light. Um, so he has gotten quite big. Um, but for now, he looks okay up here. <clears throat> here is just a little green syngonium. Honestly, I'm not sure what this one's called other than green syngonium. <laughs> That's a scientific name, I'm sure of it. Um, up here, you may remember this from, uh, I actually did a video on this guy. This is my mounted staghorn fern, who is doing so well. His uh, fronds are starting to grow up there, if you can see that. Sorry, I'm like reaching up with my little camera stick thing here so it's a little more difficult <clears throat> let me shine the light up here so you can see them there we go that might be a little better okay so there he is this is my variegated peace lily who is extremely difficult to see but this is another guy who I don't know what I'm doing right with peace lilies but they just keep blooming and blooming and blooming but that's okay. That's what we want, right? Okay, so that is this area. I'll back up again now that you've gotten a look at all of them. Oh, focus, please. Thank you. So that is that wall that I am going to be revamping very shortly. Okay, let's wander over here. Uh, so this is fairly recent. I'm going to actually, hold on one second, I'm going to fix this lighting. Okay, that is a little better. So over here, we have what I have lovingly named Gus Jr. after Kaylee Allen's plant. Because he's just, he's always awesome. He just, <laughs> he's great. So he is right here. I'm going to have to back up a little for you to see this. So here is my massive monstera deliciosa just keeps spitting out new growth here is his newest leaf um he is just i don't know he just keeps growing and growing which is amazing so there he is uh, if you look up this little ladder here i have my uh hoya carnosa Crimson Princess and the little miniature dwarf um, Sigonium. It's like a, I'm not really sure what the name of this one is, but he's got like a reddish hue to him. He's pretty. Okay, so coming down here, we have this golden pothos that is kind of hiding here, but if I walk down my stairs he is trailing so there he is my goal is to get him all the way down and nice and full that kind of covers that whole area um, okay back up here without tripping and killing myself oh my goodness um, <clears throat> here is a begonia again I don't know what kind of begonia this is it's just really cool looking it's very silvery and funky. The backs of leaves, as you can see, are like this deep burgundy. And then this is just a little succulent planter. He was dropped, or so I actually dropped something on him, so he got a little chip there, but they all made it through okay. So that is that corner. I am still, so here, I'll throw it out to you guys. So there's this wall, as you can see, and it goes all the way down there, and there's the set of stairs that comes up and that goes down. So the challenge, this wall gets amazing light in the afternoon, and I really wanna put something here, but obviously I can't reach to water it. 
Um, so we've been trying to come up with some some options as far as what we can do here. We've thought of like shelves on a pulley system. So if you guys can think of anything, or if you know anybody that's super creative and uh, is good with stuff like this, please let me know because this is just like a blank canvas and I'm just itching to put something here. Um, I thought about doing like crates, like um, like the these crates and kind of screwing them to the wall. But again, then I run into the same issue where I can't reach anything unless I have one of those stair ladders that cost like a thousand dollars. Okay, I'm exaggerating a lot. Um, anyway, I'm gonna move on. <clears throat> so if you guys have any ideas, please let me know because I would love, love, love to put something there. Okay, coming down here. Here is my ZZ plant who is underwhelming. <laughs> he just, he, I think he's getting a little bit bigger. He looks great. He's so healthy. Um, he might have grown a little bit, but in my experience, these guys grow slow. If, if I'm wrong, please let me know. That's just what I have observed from this particular plant. Okay. Moving around the corner here, we have these, oh my goodness, neighbors, uh, crazy succulents. I have a, oh my goodness, this guy, I think he's going dormant. He's just, <laughs> so that is a shamrock. That's sad. So we'll just not dwell on that. So here is my Diffenbachia, who is just doing awesome. Just continues to put out new leaves. These leaves are massive. Let me try to like, <laughs> They're huge. So he's super cool. Here is my fiddly fig, who I actually thought was dead for a while. And then all of a sudden it shot out these three new leaves. And I am so, so, so excited about that. Um, yeah, so it just took the, I guess I just realized what, or I finally found where he liked to be and the water that he needs and all that kind of stuff. And after that, he's great. Um, so moving down here a little bit, this is, hold on, <clears throat> just going to get down on the floor. So this is my Alocasia Lauterbachiana, Lauterbachiana, I think it's called. Um, this guy was struggling. He is slowly but surely bouncing back. He had thrips and then I got rid of the thrips and then he got <laughs> aphids. I'm like, oh my goodness, I can't, I can't win with this guy, but I think I may have finally nailed it. He is starting to do better, although he's a little droopy, but you'll have to trust me. He is getting better. Okay. Um, Eli decided he wants to come and say hello. Say hi, Chow Chow. Are you a good boy? Can I have a high five? Here, this one. High five. This, this one. Oh, he can't see it. Good boy. Good boy. There we go. Better angle. High five. All right. <laughs> Mama kisses. Oh, thank you. Okay. Can you go lie down so mom can finish? Okay. Uh, so here we have two Sansevierias. There we go. Uh, down here, so I have moved all of my Hoya so that they are in this northwest facing window so that they get the most light possible. Um, oh, also this little baby snake plant. There we have my, oh, let me see if I can get in there. This is my Hoya. <laughs> okay, hold on. I can take pictures, not so much video. So there is my variegated, uh, so it's actually an Albo um, Hoya Carii, and then my Hoya Compacta. Moving up, we have uh, Hoya Wearii, I believe it's called, uh, Hoya Carnosa. Oh, there we go. Now you can see them. And I think that's a variegated Wayetii. 
he's not doing the greatest. That one little side there is kind of like dying off. I don't know. They get the same care. I know that variegated plants can be a little more difficult. So, okay, moving up. Here is my Crimson Queen. Looking great. Trailing off towards the window there. Um, this one I picked up and I'm a little confuzzled about. So you Hoya people, um, of course, as I've said a million times, for some reason, um, they don't name plants up here very often. So when I bought it, um, there's just a sign above like a bunch of Hoyas that said Hoya Cronosa. But this one doesn't look anything like the one that I purchased as an actual Hoya Cronosa. So let me just see if I can get... Can you see those leaves okay? So they're much darker. No, it's not going to focus for me. Oh, wait. Here, Nikki. Clue in. There. So that's a better shot of the leaves. So these are darker leaves. Uh, thick leaves with the splotches. This is a lighter color green. Different shape. So you Hoya folks, if you know, maybe it is, maybe it's just a less mature version. I don't know, but I, uh, I would, I would like to know. So if you could tell me that, that would be great. Okay. Here. Uh, oh my gosh. I forgot the name of this one too. Hoya. Mac, 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 you, Maculata? No. Oh my gosh. Hoya mm, something. You guys are going to tell me anyways. <laughs> like I, you guys know that I'm just, I'm, I'm working my way through this Hoya thing, which I am loving by the way. They're, they haven't kind of taken the place as my first <laughs> favorite plant, but they are working up there. I know you just, you want to look at the window? Watch my Hoyas. Lord. Okay. And here is my, oh my, my brain is not working. Hoya Pubicalix Splash. And this guy is doing super awesome. Vining all the way up there. So he's doing great. So there is my Hoya shelf. I'll just back up so you can see the plants in this area. This is where Eli spends most of his time because <laughs> he likes to look at things. So there's that section or that corner. There up here. Oh, I always forget about him because he's above my head. There's my string of bananas. So if you guys will recall, this guy was like way down, probably at the top of that shelf. Um, so Jordan and I cut him way back the other day. Oh, lighting. Okay. <clears throat> I'm not even going to bother. I've got two ivies up here that I'm actually in the process of getting rid of. I'm going to replace those with some of my pothos. There is my money tree. We're starting to get in the good stuff, guys. Are you ready for this? <laughs> okay, we'll start down here. So there is my <clears throat> Tenanthe Burley Marxii. And a little cactus garden. Eli, can you go? I'm going to step on you. Thank you. On this shelf, we have my variegated Syngonium, who is awesome. Oh, there I am in the background. Hi. <laughs> All right. So there is the variegated Syngonium who actually is outgrowing this shelf and he is going to have to move very shortly. Here we have my black cardinal, cardinal, black cardinal philodendron who is finally got a new leaf there. And then over here, we have my Peperomia prostrata or my string of turtles looking ever so cute. So dainty. Uh, moving up here, we have my Hoya Matilde. My little Jordan and I collect bottle openers. 
So this one was super cute because it says Toronto. Not that you can see that. You'll have to trust me. Okay. Here is my whale fin Sansevieria. I love this guy because he's just such a statement. Like just sitting there by himself, he just looks, oh. Uh, Jorge, here is my Hoya Obavada. I'm sorry if those lights are kind of blowing it out a little bit, but there is him. Um, up here we have more string of bananas. We have my, I don't even need that in there. I got rid of most of the gnats. I can probably take that out. I should have done that before. Sorry about that, guys. Uh, so this is a Kaffir lily who I am leaving well enough alone in one place. He seems to be doing really well. I'm waiting for him to bloom. I don't know when that's going to happen. I've had this plant for like 10 years and it's bloomed once. So, you know, we might have to wait another 10. Here I have a little cactus. So cute. Probably not the best spot for it because it doesn't get any light. So probably should rethink that one. Okay. So I'll back up and give you an overview of that shelf oh sorry about that here is my um stromanthi trio star um he needs a little work i'm actually gonna take him and separate him out i think there's just too much going on in that pot and i need to reevaluate him so there he is <laughs> uh so there is that shelf Okay, so coming down here, we have my Stromanthi Sanguinier, I believe it's called. He's doing really well. I'm not super, super jazzed on this guy. He's, he's super healthy and he looks great. But he doesn't spark joy for me as much as he once did. But there he is anyway. Here is my neon pink Syngonium looking adorable. Look at that pink. Like, how cool is that? Let me focus. There we go. So he's looking awesome. Here's him. In the middle here, we have my Philodendron Birkin. This is a new leaf that just came out, um, I think just under a week ago, actually, and it looks amazing. So there he is. He's doing so well. Such a gorgeous plant. Looking forward to seeing him get really big. Next, we have my pink princess philodendron. And look at the pink on this. Look at that. This is a new leaf. Um, now it looks a little sad. It hasn't hardened yet. And I actually had moved or transplanted this plant while this leaf was just coming out. And I think that really stunted the growth on this leaf. And therefore it looks like this. So learn from my mistakes. If you're going to transplant uh, pink princess philodendron or any of the this type of philodendron so the moonlight the black cardinal the prince of orange etc try not to do it when there's a leaf in like while it's forming because this is what you end up with weird stunted leaves now having said that i do have a new leaf coming out here and can i just tell you like how cool is this leaf gonna look if you can tell look at all the pink i'm trying to focus oh fungus gnat go away get off my princess oh you little bugger <sighs> okay we're good <laughs> anyway so this is gonna look so cool this leaf is so exciting and i totally forgot about my little table here so that is my tv stand so if we back up here, so you can kind of get an idea of what that looks like. <clears throat> um, I'm going to show you my little uh, table here. 
So this is my cool little table or <laughs> wooden spool, actually a wire spool that I turned into a coffee table because I just really liked how it looked. It's very rustic, kind of went with my terracotta and wood kind of thing that I was going for. Uh, so here we just have a pearls and jade pothos, some horthia. We have my tanuki rubber tree who has a new leaf. So this leaf, right? Where's my finger? This leaf is new and he's doing really well. I have a marble queen pothos that isn't looking so marbly. And then we have my ponytail palm. So that's on my little table in this little tray. So that is what, oh, my laptop. <laughs> so that is what that looks like there. Okay. All right. We're starting to get into the big guns. So here is my Alocasia fry deck. This guy is doing so well. He's getting so big. This is his newest leaf that looks amazing. That vein just glows. <laughs> Isn't that unreal? It looks literally like it's just like glowing. And then look at this. We have new leafage. Woo. That's pretty exciting. Yeah. So this guy's doing so, so, so well. And I love it. Uh, over here, we have a Monstera adansonii who I got from my lovely planty friend, Paula. And I, <clears throat> It was on like um, two bamboo, like, you know, when you cross them and make like a hoop at the top, that's how Paula had them. And I took them off of that or him off of that. And I made this pole that's way too long, but it will eventually be tall enough. So I just wrapped some jute around a bamboo pole. And that's him. He's doing really well. Love and life. Has his own light. Yeah. Okay, you probably got a few little sneak peeks there, didn't you? <laughs> Let's come down here first. Okay, so finally I think I've got these guys growing. So this, there's two plants in here. So there is a silver pothos and a satin pothos. And they're finally starting to grow and put out some new leaves. So that's really exciting because that took forever. I was starting to get a little impatient. Um, down here, hold on, I gotta rearrange. There's my massive Dean Koontz collection. I am a bit of a Dean Koontz nerd and a Kathy Rikes. So anyways, that's not what you came here for. Here is my sad little mojito <laughs> colocasia. Um, if you recall, I had these two massive colocasia plants. I had the mojito and I had a uh, black magic and I, I don't know what happened. I was not prepared to take care of them properly, I guess. I don't know. I hadn't figured out their care requirements and we are down to <laughs> this, but now I think I've got it figured out because now they're really starting to sprout and they're really starting to grow. And I think we're good now. So that is those guys. We are moving up here. Okay. Here we have my Peperomia. Oh my goodness. Peperomia. I can't remember what it's called. <laughs> It's a peperomia. Um, here is my pilea peppermoides. And as you can see, there are all kinds of... Sorry, I tried to zoom in and I actually stopped the recording. <laughs> Lord. So as you can see, there are all kinds of babies in there that are ready to be split off and shared with friends. 
here is a, another Peperomia that I don't remember the name of. Okay, let's move up a shelf. Here is my Monstera Peru. So this leaf here was came out shortly after I got it. And then this leaf just opened. And if we peek in here, there is a new little guy coming in right there as well. Love this plant. I am so excited for it to get bigger and start to climb and all that stuff. Super jazzed. Back here we have my philodendron um, Florida ghost. Um, this is the mint. Uh, there is a little bit of a difference between the ghost and the mint. The mint is a little more compact. The leaves still do get rather large, um, but it's a little bit more of a compact variety. So, so cute. Let's see if I can get in there and show you. So there are his leaves. It's pretty tight in there. There you go. There. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> there he is. Love that plant. In the foreground here, we have my Syngonium radii. This guy is gorgeous. His leaves are so pretty. If I can get a good shot here. They're kind of a silvery in the middle. And then he has this trail coming down here. So I'm going to make this guy a little mini moss pole so that he has something to climb on. Okay, moving up the shelf here, I have this plant. <laughs> Spoiler alert. So Pam, I tried to get this plant to you. And I have potted it for when I come down to meet you in Minnesota. But here is the plant that I bought for you. It is a pink princess philodendron with your name on it. Well, I mean, not, but you're, it's, I'm saving, you know what I mean. Okay. <laughs> so there you are, Pam. I'm so sorry. Canada Post or FedEx wouldn't let me get it to you. I don't know what I did wrong. I thought I filled all the paperwork right. Turns out I didn't. So there we are. I'm sorry, <laughs> but that is yours. So here we have my Anthurium clarinervium. This right here is his new leaf, which is getting quite large. This is the one that, that I got him with. And as you can see, the other one is bigger already and he's not done growing yet. So there he is. And over here, we have uh, the queen herself, my queen anthurium or my anthurium waraquenum. It has a new little sprout right here that was there when I got them. So I have a feeling it's going to take some time for the plant to get into a situation and acclimate enough for him to continue pushing that. I really hope that it does continue to push that out. Um, but as you can see, he is doing quite well. I am making sure that the humidity stays high for him um, uh, and that it stays happy. I am really hoping this guy makes it because these guys are stunning. I don't know if you've seen these guys in uh, when they're full mature plants. If you haven't, go Google it. Anthurium or quenum, they're stunning. Okay, and then up here, I just have my little baby Monstera. He's got some new leaves there. And he looks great. Okay. So I'll back up here and give you a shot of that without spoiler alerting the stuff to the other side of it. Okay, so this is kind of the whole area. There we go, if you can see, try to get focus. There you are. So that is how this area looks. 
Okay, moving on. We are going to start up here. So this is my Caladium Fiesta, who I just repotted and actually it's not looking super healthy. I don't know if I touched it or whatever, but that right there, folks, is a bloom. I've never seen a caladium bloom before not that that means much because I'm fairly new to caladium um, but yeah he had another little guy and then um, he wasn't doing so hot because he really needed to be repotted so I did repot him and he seems to be doing better he's so pretty I'm really sad that they're gonna go dormant soon <laughs> because it adds just such a nice pop of color but it is what it is and he'll be back in the spring um, here is a little Brazil philodendron who's finally starting to grow after forever. Here is my original Monstera adansonii. Oh, you can't see that. Focus, Nikki. Okay, so there he is. He's getting all kinds of crazy. Let me see if I can... Can you see how he's like... Not really. So he's growing all over the place. So um, Jordan and I are actually going to sit down next weekend, I think, and make some moss poles for all these plants. So this guy will just have a little one for now, uh, but he's doing really well up there. Then we have, this guy was from one of my very first um, plant haul videos. I bought him at a garden center. It was the only one and he was sad. <laughs> I like, I could hardly tell what it was when I got it. Um, but look how well he's doing now. These leaves are just gorgeous. So that is my neon philodendron or lemon lime philodendron or whatever people call these things these days. Uh, here is another golden pothos who is just hanging out down here, just growing. Here are my talansias or my air plants. Oh gosh, I think that one didn't make it. Uh-oh. Probably because I forget to water these constantly. So you're supposed to take them out like once a week. Once every two weeks or so. And soak them in um, room temperature water for about 15-20 minutes. And I forget. Always. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry little plants. Um, okay, in here, you can see it in the back there. That is a little... Pylea baby. That was my very first one actually. He's getting quite big now. Here is my um, Alocasia poly or Alocasia amazonica is actually the proper name I believe. He's doing really well. That leaf right there. Where's my finger? There. <laughs> That's new. Moving down we have my little string of hearts who is trailing down here quite nicely. Here we have my little watermelon. Oh, I didn't mean to zoom in. How do I zoom back out? Okay, there we go. Uh, watermelon Deschetia. I'm honestly not sure what the actual name is for this. I, I knew I knew it at one point and now I don't. Um, so this thing actually is finally growing a little sprout. Can you see that? I have had this thing for a few months and it has just sat there. So I was, I was, you know, confined to just thinking that it would never grow and it was just going to be these little couple of watermelons forever. Here is my little, another little dwarf syngonium. That's so cute. I love this guy because he just looks so soft and delicate. Uh, let me move this chair. <laughs> Down here, we have strawberries and cream ficus, little peperomia pixie, and here we have my anthurium forgetii, who, if you follow me on Instagram, you saw that he is putting out inflorescence. So it is close to being done like opening, I mean. So how cool is that? I'm under the assumption that if your plants do this or they flower, they're happy. So that's kind of what I'm running with right now. 
Okay, we're gonna go down on the plant shelf before I show you the big guns on the top. I'm just holding on to you. Okay, so this guy is the Prince of Orange. Oh, sorry, Philodendron Prince of Orange. That's his newest leaf, which looks a little wonky. Again, I repotted this guy. See, you live and learn. <laughs> I repotted this guy when he was growing this leaf and it just never ends well. So learn from my mistakes. Don't do it. And down here, we have another little golden pothos cutting. Here we have my beautiful watermelon peperomia. So, so, so cute. I absolutely love this plant. Over here, we have my heart leaf philodendron. Up a shelf, we have my philodendron moonlight, who has a new leaf. Just barely hanging on there. Oh, God. My camera skills. I'm so sorry, guys. <laughs> I need a gimbal. Okay, so that is that guy. Now, oh, we are going to come up here and, are you ready? Look at this. This is Philodendron Billetai. Um, so I love these guys. Look at these stems. They are orange and I think it looks so, so cool. The orange stems the green leaves and these gorgeous terracotta pots. How amazing is that? Let's see if I can get a good shot of the belt. There's one. He's got, I think, six. There's another one that you can't see very well because the light behind it. <laughs> but if we look in here, whoop, that's a new little baby growing in there. Now, the baby was growing when it was shipped to me, and if they are like any of my other philodendrons, it may take a while, <laughs> so we'll see. So there is my philodendron bilati. These leaves actually get extremely huge, um, very, very long, so potentially they could come like all the way down eventually. Uh, so they, when he gets a little bit bigger, they are a climber. So I will put him um, on a totem and uh, kind of have to fasten him a little bit. And he will go all crazy and wonky-like from a totem. Next, we have the magnificent, gorgeous Thai Constellation. Monstera Thai Constellation. So this is the leaf that came out um, after... He was in my care. Those are his three original leaves. And this, folks, is a brand new leaf. Just unfurling there. And I'm not sure how well the camera is going to pick it up, but this whole section right here is all white. So he's going to be a stunner. So there is my Monstera Deliciosa Thai Constellation. Looking gorgeous. Okay. And I'm just gonna go up here. Here is just a little jar of cuttings. So I have some variegated string of parts in there and some golden pothos. Um, now, if you guys are wondering why I have golden pothos stuck in with absolutely everything, like all of my cuttings, um, because they're such good rooters, um, it creates like a growth hormone in the water, which promotes the other plants to root out faster. So that is why you see a plethora of golden pothos everywhere. Uh, here we have, obviously, more golden pothos, and I have a Monstera adansonii round form leaf here that's propagating super healthy and he's getting some awesome roots let me just show you oh don't drop anything there we go check that out so that's so cool it's not focusing really well there we are so I'm gonna wait a little bit longer I like the roots to be a couple inches before I actually put them into soil 
and then uh, just keep them really wet for a little while so they have an easier time transitioning from water to soil. So there he is. A little jade cutting and a little string of turtles cutting, which might actually be rooting. I don't know. We'll have to check that out. And then here I just have some Cebu blue cuttings. And then last, but most definitely not least, is the royal himself, the Anthurium vicii, or the King Anthurium. This guy is beautiful. Look at those ripples on the leaves. Let's see if I can get in for a close shot here. And that vein. Oh my dear lord, look at this. Beautiful. And if we just peek around the corner there, look at that. That, folks, is a brand new leaf. Ooh! So exciting. So let me back up and give you an overall of this whole area. Without tripping on things. Okay, focus. So there is my top shelf there. And if we come back, there is that whole area there. And then panning over. Oh, there's Ivy. Ivy. She ignores me. Um, I'll give you a shot from how it looks this way. This is the angle that you normally see because this is where I film. <laughs> um, so I'm going to back up. But that is kind of the overview of what that area looks like. Well, guys, that was it. That was my late summer, my August <laughs> uh, plant tour video. I really hope that you enjoyed it. Um, if you saw something that you didn't catch, you want to know more about that plant, I'm going to start kind of diving a little bit more into um, plant and species specific. That's a mouthful with braces. Species specific videos. Um, so I have had a couple requests to do um, a few different ones. Um, one on philodendrons I'm probably going to do. Um, I can't even remember what the other one was. <laughs> So for those of whoever it was that asked me for another one, it's leaving my brain. Please put it down in the comments. Also, go ahead and throw in the comments any other things that you would like to see, any video ideas. Um, if there's any plants that you want me to do like a, a focused video on, I can absolutely do that. I would love to do that, actually. Um, so also we have, um, don't forget that we've got that challenge video coming up later this week. Um, when Jordan is not working midnights. <laughs> um, anyway, that's about it. I will let you go. I know this video has been kind of long, so that is all I have for tonight. So thank you guys so much for watching. Um, and again, thank you for liking and thank you for commenting. Again, I love reading the comments. I always reply to the comments. Um, so go ahead if you have anything to say, if um, you have any questions or video ideas, again, throw them down in the comments and I will absolutely read them and I will respond to you, I promise. Um, if you haven't subscribed, again, go ahead and subscribe. It's a huge help to my channel and I really, really do appreciate it. Uh, so anyway, I will leave you to enjoy the rest of your long weekend, your Labor Day weekend and, um, and or, you know, the rest of your, I'm, I know that I do have viewers that are overseas. So whatever time it is when you watch this, enjoy whatever day that is over there. This is not going well. <laughs> uh, okay. Enjoy your day, your week, your month. Enjoy your year. I love you guys. Have a great night, day, whatever. Mwah!